o'clock lock. I am recording this at 11 o'clock at night like a dip, but it's fine. We're, we're okay. Everything's happening. <laughs> um, hopefully, we have the thing fixed because if we don't, then I'm in uh, big trouble not having the mic fixed, but it should be fixed. So anyway, <laughs> going into this episode, you guys killed a very intriguing Pokemon. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I am very shell-shocked. Uh, that you guys decided to continue the curse of cut and killed a land of the rose raid. So rose raid's gone. So we had to make some team changes. Uh, so we got curious level 25 with the tinted lens as the ability energy ball, leaf blade, needle arm and rock throw. We got Rhonda with uh, plus nature superpower or plus nature. I mean, plus nature would be great, but it's not uh, boost special attack. If a uh, Pokemon has minus with superpower, such bomb, false swipe, belly jump. We got Nina with Psychic, Dragon Breath, Dark Pulse, and Bubble Beam. Uh, with uh, Magnet Pull, we got Emilio, our, one of our new mons to the team, with Poison Jab, Confuse, Ray, Astonish, and Lick with Adaptability. Let's freaking go. I got so lucky with that. I literally checked it, and I was like, I shouldn't have checked it. I should have waited, but it's fine. So an Adaptability Haunter. And then lastly, we got to not lastly, we got to rot with Drizzle, Toxic Spike Slash, Chatter, Gunk Shot, and finally we got Joe, who's got Stall. Great, lovely. Uh, thank God you evolved in two levels with Water Spout, Synthesis, Discharge, and Extra Sensory. Um, and because, like I said, it, uh, Joe evolves in two levels, we need that Lantern Joe. Lantern Joe be a good Joe. Um, and we are gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, we put Greenbird in the box, as Greenbird, I feel like, deserves to be there. Not that Greenbird's bad or anything, it's just Greenbird is not particularly what I'm looking for in a Pokemon, I guess, uh, so to speak, because we already have a lovely Pokemon uh, that's named uh, Natu. So, yeah, we have that lovely Pokemon that we all know and love. Uh, but, yeah, hopefully everything is super exciting. Uh I'm super excited, honestly. School's almost over. We got three days left. By the end of this week, I mean, it's kind of a celebration of, like... So, of course, I could make an excuse for why we have six episodes of Saga Lock this week. But I'm not going to make that excuse. There's really no reason to make that excuse. We all know John didn't record because John had finals. Um, and so now, we're having six episodes. Even though I could be like, guys, we're celebrating finals week and having one more quarter left of school. And it's like, no, that's just no. <laughs> we don't do that. We're not doing that. Um, don't need to do that. <laughs> Although, as much as it would be funny, yeah, no, no need. But yeah, this, honestly, I've been super excited with Saga Log. Saga Log is kind of crazy and I can't believe we're doing six episodes because you guys get a second kill episode this, uh, not this week. This, uh, da, 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 da. what is it? This, why is my brain not working? This month, thank goodness my brain was like, yeah, um, it's called a month, John, you know. You know, you did a whole, you know, month log. You should know this by now. Uh, yeah, got it. Got it, brain. You don't have to, you know, roast me for five seconds. I get it. Um, but yeah, so today, we honestly, we did a lot today. Uh, I played like, a lot as in like, it's like the almost a little a lot because we did a recording session of Cutthroat, uh, which you guys won't see yet in episode 13. So it's like only two weeks from now. Crazy enough, it's actually almost here. Ooh, Waterfall hits both. Um, but yeah, episode we recorded episode 13 and 14, got everything set up so we could do a double recording session. Uh, so episode 15 through 19, uh, which is our wait. I can't count, apparently. 15, 16, so the 15 through 18. Uh, so that's super exciting as well. Getting everything set up for that is just super fun. Um, and lots of things happened in that episode, so that's awesome. So if you guys go to check it out, that'd be awesome. Uh, my biggest collaborative project ever. So, yeah, you definitely should go see it because we love it. We stand it. Um, even though some days it's like, bro, what's happened? Um, most of the time, it's perfectly fine. Uh, I don't know if you use Dig or not. So we're just going to do this. Like, I I don't remember. Me remembering things? What? That's a thing. I can remember stuff. Apparent oh, oh, shoot. This actually might not work out to my advantage here. Oh, it used Bounce. Oh, my God. 
gosh, no, 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 we don't, we don't play that game, we, Fampy, we don't play that game, I know that you want to prove that you're a good Pokemon, you don't have to prove that you're a good Pokemon right now, though, because Fampy, it's fine, Fampy die, good, oh, we crit it back, ha <laughs> ha, well deserved, okay, continuing on, though, uh, we had a lot of fun, honestly, that was a good recording session, Ooh, but yeah, um, being that it was a great recording session, that was just a ton of fun. It was one of those, like, I went to work, and work was pretty decent. There was, it was pretty, it was, it was sluggish, but it was decent enough to be okay. Um, and then we had, uh, I played a couple games of Fortune Street after doing my homework. So, yeah, very, very productive. And honestly... I've been being pretty productive lately, and I know today is going to be Monday. It's fine. I got that. Um, you're going to get a second episode today, um, and the second episode is going to be the regularly scheduled Monday. Uh, well, I say regularly scheduled, but like it never goes out on Monday, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it's going to be the actual Monday episode. Um, but yeah, so we'll have a motivational Mondays, be normal, and everything will be fine, and yeah, it'll be all chill. So I'm going to give that to that. That there and then do i really want to use the xp share not really preferably no preferably i don't want to deal with that like i don't know it is one of the things there's a couple things that i just don't like dealing with and that's experience share and i know a lot of people are gonna be like but why though like but i'm like because it splits the experience and realistically you don't and you don't get the ivs for it either so I get that it kind of works for Pokemon if you want it to specifically IV things more, because it takes longer to level up, but you're IVing a certain Pokemon. You're not necessarily dealing with the other Pokemon that are presented in this thing. So, I personally don't... If I, I'm experience sharing, I'm doing the Gen 6 or 7 experience share, not the other ones, personally. So, again, sorry for everybody who's going to be like, oh my god, you're not using the experience share, but that's why. I want to make sure that things level up quicker. Um, I'm not necessarily concerned with, like, oh my god, the team's not fully even until, like, I actually really need to, aka the gym leaders and other stuff like that, where, like, that actually does matter. So, yeah, so that's what's going on. That's why I am saying what I'm saying now, because, yeah, if I get it out of the way now, it's gonna be just ultimately better for all of us. <laughs> so, because I don't need the trigger fest, uh, to begin. Oh, if I would have waited! If I would have waited, no! Oh, oh, I hurt. That sucks. If I waited, oh, that's another cringe if I moment. Oh, the Sinnohs. So every generation kind of has had its own arc, and I've been lovely loving it because it's like Kanto's the oh everything's good we're chill arc. Then Johto is kind of the same way. It's like oh we're cool we got these. It's like the fan favorite arc. So you got those mons that are like, oh, I really love these mons. Like, I hope they stay on the team. And then they, most of them actually did. Then, <laughs> Hoenn's the death arc, where everything just wants to die. And then, after the death arc, you know you gotta have another arc. And this arc's the arc of weird encounters. Oh my gosh. According to this theory, Mount Cornet is where the Sinnoh region began. Like, uh, in a newly created world, like, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should be no strife, uh, but what became of the world, uh, the human spirit is just, like, so weak, my dude, it's, like, incomplete, and the strife has just gonna spread. Uh, the world's been ruined. Uh, it's in a state of things to be deplorable. Uh, oh my god. Uh, people don't agree on everything. And it's not harmonious. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Actually, I've been busted out with words lately. So, if you guys don't know, on the Discord server, if you guys want to learn new words, uh, go ahead and hop into the Discord server and join in on the fun of learning because we're doing Word of the Day on the Discord server, and honestly, I've been having a really fun time doing them. Um, and a lot of people have seemed to enjoy them, too. So, it's, like, a positive, positive, but, like, we've been, like, I got the Word of the Day for today, a.k.a. Um, oh, crap. 
crap. I thought I, I had it. What sucks is I totally did have it, but now I don't remember it. Good job. Uh, don't we love not remember? I, I hate when I don't remember things. Um, was it disingenuous? That's probably good. That was, pro yeah, that's the word of the day tomorrow is disingenuous. Um, but we are learning a whole bunch of new different like words that you don't use like ever. Um, or, oh, wait, I used it. I literally used the word correctly. Oh, uh, oh, it's that word. Okay. That I figured it out. I remembered. So I, I remember that <laughs> disingenuous can be for another day. But the word of the day tomorrow was actually a word that I used today at work. And it was indicative. Um, because, you know, that was honestly. <laughs> so that's the actual word of the day. But yeah, every day we put a new thing in the Discord. And honestly, like I said, I enjoy it. Personally, I love learning. Learning is something that I just. I don't think I'll ever stop wanting to do. Uh, because I've just always been a scholastic person. And, you know. Being a scholastic person, if you don't learn and things get boring, and it just that doesn't work, that you don't need that to happen. We don't need things to get boring, um, and that's kind of sometimes how I feel with uh, Pokemon. Sometimes, honestly, I'm being 100% honest. Is sometimes I don't feel like I'm learning anything, so it's like, well, what am I doing? Like, why am I doing this if I'm not going to learn? But like. That's part of the reason why I've been trying to think of, like, challenges to do. Uh, Drake actually sent me one the other day that I might consider doing um, as a live stream series after Dark Souls. Because, again, since I haven't had time to live stream stuff, and, like, the, uh, the, uh, both the time and the want, it does not help. Like, but we are getting better. We are getting everything all set up, which is really nice. And I just, like I said, I, I can't wait for everything to kind of just be itself and be on itself perfectly on this little tinge here because I w was tired right and I took 10 days off of work uh so I have August 25th through September 5th off um I'm gonna be reworking some content doing some new content um along with the adding some streams in there and doing some stuff because I have summer break too oh that's a lot yas if I read that correctly, that's a lot, Yas. Uh, crap. That's bad. That is like, that's like the big bad for our team. Ooh. And we don't have enough, we don't have good enough, like, ghost type moves to even, like, use that. Okay. Summary. Uh, I guess Nina is gonna be our best option here. If it is actually Lot Yas. If it's not, then I just can't read. Um, which is very likely to, because it's just like, oh, okay, I did read it. Okay, we're good. Uh, but yeah, so I just really love, I guess, being able to put everything into, like, itself. And, like, try and get better with my content. And it's not necessarily diverting paths, because I know you guys like this stuff already. Let's not and say we did. Oh, I cannot, uh, wait. Outrageous physical. I mean, I guess Latias is not that big of a physical attacker, but, like, dang. That, I feel like that we should have died there. Like, there's no way we shouldn't have. But we didn't, and I'm not complaining. That's just, yeah. <laughs> we didn't die, so there's no room to complain. That's, that's a good philosophy. If you don't die, you can't complain. <laughs> Although... Not necessarily the best of philosophies, because literally sometimes if you die, it doesn't. It feels like you shouldn't have, and it's just like, I shouldn't have died here. There's no way that happened. Like, um, like if you get crit, getting crit, like you can play around crits, and that is something I love in Nuzlocke is playing around crits, uh, and trying to figure out like what's the best way to do that. But like in a randomizer, it's like, oh. This thing exploded. And, like, you gotta... You have to have the game knowledge. And I guess that's a big critical piece of Nuzlocke that a lot of people don't really have, right? Is the game knowledge and, like, what they want to do in situation A, B, or C. It's like, if this situation is presented to you, what would you do? And it's like, I don't know. Should I care? Yes, you should care. Because literally that's, like, super duper important. But okay, then. Uh, oh, that's right. I lost my Rock Smash Pokemon, too. Like, any Pokemon I teach an HM to, they, they die pretty much instantly. Which, I do not want to teach it to 
curious, but I'm just curious about the Nido, so... Uh, Biden and Needle Arm, I guess. That makes the most sense, I feel like, to get rid of, so... That's what we're doing. Uh, was it worth it? Maybe. Maybe we'll catch something with that Premier Ball. Okay. And this is not a new encounter, because it did not shift routes on us, which is kind of sad, to be honest, because I would have thought this would have been a new encounter, but... It ain't, so... Either I didn't see it... Or it's not one. And I'm definitely leaning towards it's not one, but we'll see. Hopefully... Okay, so... If this is Route like 208, then it is a new one. Okay, it is a new one. Where did it change then? It must have changed somewhere. I was like, I swear that's a new encounter. I was like, where did I miss that? And it's like, yeah, okay. It is a new encounter. So I wasn't dumb. But good job. I love not being dumb. Yay! We're going to get a... Oh, is that happening? Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Get bopped. Get bopped. 1,000 experience. Nice. Okay. Joe, I need you to have a good ability. Please, Joe. Please, Joe. Please, Joe. Please, Joe. Please, Joe. Please, Joe. Please have a good ability because you got to be a god. Like, honestly, Lantern is underrated, personally, in my opinion. Lantern is super underrated. It's... Oh my gosh. Well, I have it specs because its moveset is just so, like, ranged, I guess. So I don't really want Dragon Dance. Octazooka, on the other hand, that I will take. Volt Tackle, no. This thing learns three moves upon evolution. What the frick? In what world do you need three mo uh, level like three moves right after you evolve? Your ability now is. Oh my gosh! Joy Specs Storm Drain, bro! Let's go, Joe! You're definitely gonna die before the Elite Four, but it's okay because we got you now. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That is lovely. That is what we like to see. Also, our encounter is a. Teddy Ursa. I'm gonna go ahead and... I mean, I guess we can catch it. There's no... Like, we can catch it pretty much immediately as well, so... Or not, because, you know, we just don't want to catch things. Come on, Joe. Oh, my God. Wait, I'm locked on. I can't switch. Oh, I can. Okay. I feel like I shouldn't be able to switch, but you know what? If I can, I can. Come on, you are literally a Teddy Ursa. That's a mud shot. I'm freaking running. No. Teddy Ursa had too much. Too much power for us to handle. Because, <laughs> of course, a Teddy Ursa would have too much power for us to handle out of all mods. It's gotta be the Teddy Ursa, you know? Teddy Ursa is just good, you know? You can't underrate some Pokemon. Uh, kidding berries for Joy's convenience. I think all these berries are stupid poffin berries, but it's for Joy, and that's what matters. Nanab, oh my god, they're the stupidest berries ever. So, in Pokemon Go, you guys, oh, wow, okay. Yeah, so in Pokemon Go, they're really bad. Like, yeah, these are all poffin berries. Like, I, like, have to catch Pokemon. It's like, catch five Pokemon with a Nanab berry, and I'm just like, can we not have that task, please? Like, out of any task, can we not with that one? Like, if, like, if any other task, it's okay. That one? Ew. No, uh, don't give me that. Like, that's gross. Uh, it's basically how I feel on that. But we are now in Hard Home City, and we are going to talk to this Benary and this girl who's going to be like, oh my god, uh, look at the, this. We got to go to the contest hall. And the contest hall is just the most beautiful place in the world. If you don't know what the contest hall is, then you're just missing out. Okay, there's two... There's two shops here. Do they sell the same thing? Pro no. One hat. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I see. Oh, that's netball. No, I did see it. Okay, I was like, I'm not dumb. I definitely feel like I saw what I want, which is five nest balls, please. Nest balls are, like, I want to make sure I get them before their utilization runs out, you know? Because, like, at, they get to a point where it, it doesn't matter. And I just don't want to get it to that point. Oh my gosh. I, you literally don't have access to great balls yet. Oh my. 
But yeah, like, of course there is a point where it doesn't matter. But we aren't there yet. We're not at that point. So we don't want to worry about going to that point. Ooh, that's a daycare. Could I put Curious in there? And it's being heavily debated in my mind right now whether or not that's a good idea. I feel like it's not, but... I mean, it's Curious, though. I mean, but here's my also, my thing. Curious will get to a point where Curious will be able to be uh, a captor and be critical. So, it's like, I don't want to really waste my time with uh, that if, well, in the long run, is it going to matter? No. But, we're going to talk to Mom, get hellos, and hopefully have... A wonderful conversation with her because she's amazing. Mothers and parents are just the best. Um, and I'm not even joking on that one. Parents are amazing. Um, especially mine, so uh, I can brag a little bit. Um, bye, mother. Uh, and then we're going to go to the Pokemon Center in the episode. So I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I got to go to the restroom and then do another episode so that I can edit them. And then get them up for tomorrow. And I hope you guys have a splendid splendid Monday uh, and we'll have a motivational Monday tomorrow because I don't re I don't do these episodes on Mondays so it's kind of gonna be fun to have a motivational Monday love y'all bye